What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Diddy's world is crumbling down, and a lot of people are coming after him. A lot of folks want to um, out him. We've already seen what's happened with Cassie. But there's so many people who hate Diddy. I've, I've never seen a celebrity who people hate to this level. Never. Not even R. Kelly. Not even Bill Cosby. Nobody hates this guy. Uh, I've never seen anybody being hated as much as Diddy is. This is the guy on this troop. All right. And one of the people who are on the hate, hate, hate commission is a brother by the name of Gene Deal. All right. Now, Gene Deal used to be the bodyguard to Diddy, and he's been going around uh, at least for the last few years. Anybody who will talk about Diddy, he will do it, and he's glad to do it. And he's been going to different uh, podcasts, uh, different shows, um, you know, saying whatever he can to, um, you know, basically to get on there and discredit Diddy in any way. But he has done so by also getting a certain a level of criticism against himself, right? Um, like, the clip's like this. I get all kind of hate mail, IGs, talking about that I'm trying to take a black man down. No, 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 no. I went through every step you supposed to go through when you got a problem, you got a situation, you got an issue with a man. He's also said that Diddy is a coward for what he allowed to happen to his kids in the raid. How you feel about the people that feel the type of way that, you know, Diddy, he wasn't there when his kids got arrested? I think 50, he even, you know, made a comment about it saying that, you know, Diddy, he got his kids in the bullshit now. I believe he was a coward. There's no way he should have let that happen to his kids. I believe he knew what was going down and he probably thought they wasn't going to do that to the kids, but they did. They wanted to be gangsters. Lil Combs did, so now you're a gangster. So I I, I just want to know if, if, if I can. And again, this is not to hate on anybody. I'm not here to begrudge anybody. But I would like to talk about something if I can. And that is, will Gene Deal speak at the court against Diddy? Now, first of all, here's what I think about Gene Deal. I'm gonna play this clip, okay? And then, again, I'm gonna come back. People, when they start getting in this pile, certain, certain positions, have certain amount of money, they don't look back. Some of them don't look back and don't think they have to come back to the people that helped them get to those positions. You understand? I don't care what nobody say. You understand? If somebody helps you and use their ability and their talents to help you get in position and get to certain places and do certain things, you come back and you make sure things is all right. So if you, if you hear that clip, what I hear from this guy Here's a guy who's pissed off because he feels that Diddy didn't do something for him when he had a chance. I believe in his case, I don't know if it was something for his son or something for him. So basically what you're saying is, had Diddy had given you X, Y, and Z, you wouldn't have a problem with Diddy doing whatever he was doing in the first place. You would still be cool with Diddy in the same way that Stevie J is. Okay, so if Diddy would have helped you, whatever he was doing would have been cool. You would have been cool with it, right? Right? So this is why I think you can't trust this particular guy because he has a motive. That right there, oh, he was supposed to help me. Help you do what? Now, I, I do believe that it gotta be some truth to what Diddy is doing for sure. But when it comes to you, 
you 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 just sound like you're a brother that's 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 a hater. And I'm gonna tell you why. A lot of brothers feel like when you make it, you do what you gotta do. You owe them something. And they will talk about how they helped you do X, Y, and Z. Okay. If you helped Diddy do X, Y, and Z, if 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 you have the ability to help somebody like that, it would also prove that you would be able to help yourself to a certain level. Okay. Which if we really look at it, it don't seem like that's what you do, bro. You know, it's kind of like not the same, but similar with Dame Dash and Jay-Z. Like Jay-Z said, Hey, we'll make another one. He can't do it. I know y'all don't like that, but the, Dame Dash can't do it. All right. Can't do it. This guy probably don't even have that much money. You're going on podcasts talking about Diddy. You're largely ignored. You're trying to sell a book about Diddy. It lets me know one thing that, you know, you're broke. Okay. And uh, you don't have very much to offer anybody right now. And so you're trying to get on. That's what it shows me. You're, you're trying to get on. Which, hey, it's a-okay. That's good. You want to get on. That's great. I think, I think that's beautiful, but I don't think that they can trust you because you have malice because he didn't give you what you felt he should get. So you might get up there and say anything. And I don't never, and to be honest, I've never heard of any receipts that you have dropped that anybody can validate as to what is the truth. I don't think anybody can say that. Like when Gene Deal is talking about did the X, Y, and Z, can anybody show or make proof or make light of anything that shows what he's talking about. Can anyone do that? Is that so? Okay. Is that possible? Have you seen it? Certainly I, I have not. I hear all of these incredible things that this guy allegedly did. And none of us have seen any evidence that this stuff is true. Okay. Not saying it's not true. It probably is true. But the point is, had he had paid you some money, you would have been okay with it. You wouldn't have said nothing, right? It's not his fault your life didn't turn out to be whatever you thought your life was going to be. And you will see that all the time. People do that all the time. But I've seen it here on YouTube with creators. People, you know, get into collabs with people and all of that. Then somebody blows up. The rest of the guys are mad. They feel like that person ain't shouting them out enough they feel like that person is not you know trying to help them so they start beefing oh man that dude is shady man he ain't even trying to help me you know what i'm saying that's just how they be now all of a sudden this is how they be all of a sudden you have a fundamental difference with the person now now you want to bring them down now you hate them now all of a sudden you dislike them well why do you dislike them Oh, oh, because you didn't help them. That's why. So can you trust somebody that every time you don't want to help them, you know, what are they going to say? They're always going to lie. You can't trust nothing they got to say at all. Okay. I'm just going to be real. What are you going to tell them? Because they'll make up anything, you know? So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, Shady Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Put your fire, you do, scare the bell. We're out.